Hello visitors, I'd just like to take this time to tell everybody, um, please do not feed these seagulls. Feeding the gulls can cause aggression towards humans. Malnourishment, as foods such as popcorn and bread are harmful, not helpful, and give them digestive issues leading to health problems as their bodies are not made to break down people food. Just because the rules are to not feed popcorn and bread here at the park, this does not mean you should be feeding them popcorn and bread off of the park. Once again, their bodies are not made to break down people food. Popcorn and bread are not a part of their natural diet. So once again, please do not feed the seagulls. Thank you for your understanding and for helping us keep wildlife wild. Good afternoon visitors. Right now departing through the Duluth Ship Canal we have the Paul Arch Regertha. The Paul Arch Regertha was built as the William J. Delancey in 1981 by the American Shipbuilding Company in Lorain, Ohio. She measures 1,013 feet and 6 inches in length, 105 feet in width, and 500, or excuse me, and 56 feet in depth, not 500. She is powered by two 8,040 horsepower, six-cylinder Mack diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 14 knots or about 16 miles per hour. She is also equipped with a 1,500 horsepower bow thruster to aid her maneuverability in port. The Paul Archigertha has 36 hatches on her deck, which open into five cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 65 by 11 feet and weighs 6 tons each. just heard is known as the master salute it is three long and two short blasts it is not the most common ship signal exchange between the bridge and boat but it is one of many today the Paul Archigertha is loaded up with coal which they got from Superior Midwest Energy Terminal and they are taking that to St. Clair Michigan Paul Archigertha has a maximum carrying capacity of 71,300 tons. Above her deck is a 260-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 10,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. If you see any crew on board, make sure you give them a big wave and wish them a safe trip. Named in honor of the Vice Chairman of Interlake Steamship Company, That one long and two short blast is the most common of the ship signal salute exchanges. It is known as the captain salute. One long and two short blasts. Once again, the Paul Archigertha is leaving loaded up with coal headed towards St. Clair, Michigan. She is 1,013 feet and 6 inches in length, 105 feet in width, and 56 feet in depth. I will say, you folks seeing or hearing three salutes is very uncommon. The Tregurtha was built for $60 million and became the flagship of Interlake Steamship Company. She was rechristened with her current name in 1990 to, refle to reflect Interlake's newest owners. <laughs> 